looking for a beautiful and peaceful place to hang out in Central Florida, Hillsborough River State Park is a really great place to visit. It's located in Thanonasasa between Tampa and Zephyr Hills. We went there in June with our seven month old. <laughs> and although it was very hot, we had a really great time and we got to see some pretty cool stuff. The park opens at 8 a.m. and closes at sundown seven days a week. The entrance fee is $6 for most vehicles or $2 for pedestrians. You can pay at the ranger station as you come in or online before you go. You'll be given a map showing the five trails that you have to choose from along with the locations of the 112 campsites available within the park. Don't forget your sun protection. The trails do have some shade, but this is Florida, so you'll want to be prepared. Gotta make sure those turkey legs are protected from this Florida sun. Preparation. Baby. <laughs> and just like that, we're ready. Now, if you followed along with the channel thus far, you know that traveling is pretty important in our lives. It's our dream to travel every day, but obviously the work-life balance, that's not always the case. So we're at a trail about 50, 50 minute drive from where we live, uh, but nonetheless, you know, as a benefit of living in Florida, uh, we do have the opportunity of, of great weather year round. So we have the baby, we got the dread, here I am the beard, uh, and let's, let's begin this, let's do this. This place is most definitely family friendly and it's pet friendly too. If you do bring your pet, just be sure that they're leashed or otherwise under your physical control. Our mission was to hit the two main attractions of the park, the suspension bridge, and the Class 2 River Rapids. Ah, uh, yes. Just what we were looking for. The trail cone. <laughs> Actually, no. We're going to the suspension bridge. The suspension bridge can be accessed via the Baynard Trail, which is the shortest hike in the park. You could be sitting wondering, would you trust a suspension bridge from the 1930s? Most people would say no. We're not most people. Florida, there's over 13,000 trails. So for two people and a little baby, they really like being outdoors. There's always something for us to do. So it's Saturday, it's Memorial weekend. It's about 90 degrees outside. And uh, what better way to, to spend time with your family than out in mother nature? As, uh, as we're walking in on these trails, it's, it's easy for me to remember how important these two trails are to, uh, to Natalie and I. Um, many, many moons ago, uh, when we first started dating, this was actually one of the first parks that we started hiking at together. Um, so just a, just a little bit of a reminisce moment for us because now we have our plus one. Uh, so it makes it even that much more special. section we're on now is on our way to the, the river rapids we discussed earlier. It's a, it's a scenic, calming, peaceful little spot in Florida. As I'm sure most of you are aware, Florida isn't full of mountains. So the fact that we even have rapids to begin with is a little bit shocking, but when you see this, it's not white water quality. It's 
very calming. The rapids are located on the appropriately named River Rapids Trail, which is only slightly longer than the Vayner Trail, but you don't have to hike the full trail to see them. As always, the simple rules of nature are coming up on a sign that just reminds us of, of what those rules really are. Please take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. Yep, that's what Florida Rapids look like. At this point, it was mission complete and we were all ready to go home. You don't have to spend all day at the park to get your fill of the beautiful trees and rivers. I think we were there for less than three hours total, but if you do have more time, or maybe you're thinking about renting a campsite for a few nights, there are a ton of other outdoor activities that can be enjoyed within this park. And there's also a lot more trail that we didn't cover. If you want more information on all the activities that this park has to offer, um, you can check out their website. There's a lot of information on there. I'll leave that linked in the description below. If you liked this video, <laughs> If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to join us on more adventures or be inspired on how you can make the most of your life, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have any requests for what Florida trails we should hit next, leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you take time to do what you love today.